Hi guys, it's Tammy with Pretty Presets and I'm going to show you a quick edit from our new collection just came out. It's the Clean Edit Portrait Workflow. Uh, it's different than the rest of the presets that you probably have. Um, these stack and we do have some other that stack in our other sets but this is the first set um, I feel like that has this many really great steps. So it's right over here. You're going to have the base colors right here. Um, these right here are going to change um, the curve, your S curve over here, well, your tone curve. Um, then these change the split toning and these change the tint overlay. And all of them go on top of each other. They don't write over the other one. Um, they all work together so that you can change the tone like in your highlights. You can change the tone in the low lights. Uh, you're really going to find that this is what is going to change the tone of your photos. And I know sometimes it's hard to understand the difference between like the color or the white balance and your tone. And it, the more you're doing it, the more you're editing it, you're going to understand it better. And this over here is going to help you understand what colors it is that you're seeing in your photo and what color you want to see in your photo. So that's what's really cool about this is it really brings out specific tones and colors in the photo. So I'm going to start really quick. Um, first, I am going to make sure that I'm straight over here. I'm going to hit auto. Um, the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to crop it a little bit just because there's a little too much ceiling going on. Come on, Lightroom. There we go. I'm going to unlock it. And I'm just going to bring it down just a little bit. I don't need quite that much ceiling going on. I'm going to hit done. Perfect. And then I'm going to come over here and I am going to use, uh, first I'm going to use Deep Matte um, because I like what it does with the black parts. Um, I'm then going to use silver veil in the tint overlay and that's just just a small change just a little bit and I'm fine with that and then here's the toolkit that comes with it as well uh, this is quickly changing um, some things that are over here in your sliders without having to mess with the slider itself so this can change your contrast exposure your noise reduction I'm going to use sharpen 50 um, I'm not going to vignette uh, let's see what else I am going to white balance auto which warms it up just a little bit and I'm fine with that. I do like cool photos, um, cool in tone, but sometimes they can be too cool and I feel like they look a little bit more live when they do have some warmth to them. So I want a little bit of warmth. And then I'm gonna come back up and I'm going to pick, let's see, maybe pastel color or clean color. Which one do I like best? Oh, I think I like that. Okay, I'm going to go with clean color and then I am going to hit him with one quick radial filter just to brighten this up a little bit. Hit done. And then I'm going to use one a graduated filter and pull it up here the same way, just because this was a little bit shadowed right there and hit done. So that's it. I'm going to hit before and after. And uh, I mean, not that the photo was, I guess, really problematic to begin with, but that is a super quick, layerable, um, stacking set that can get you exactly the tone, the brightness, the darkness, the contrast that you are looking for without having to go through and adjust uh, your sliders all the time. So I hope that was helpful and I can't wait to see what everybody comes up with using the new set. Thanks.